Hey guys, um, it's 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday, August 8th. Today is the Lionsgate portal. I keep seeing this on the internet, so I'm just going to say it in my video. Today is some kind of a celestial portal event um, where the stars line up with the pyramids in Egypt. But that's not why I'm making this video. I just uh, finished dinner, did some cleaning and organizing in this space today. It's a small space, but it requires a lot of upkeep and maintenance partially due to the fact I have to keep the window open and a lot of dust and debris gets in here from the street um, and just there's a lot of stuff in here so I keep having to move it around clean it every time I do something it displaces something else but this is uh, a private living space right and I do not have guests in here. It's just really small. I also stopped um, inviting my family here about 10 years ago when they were like rolling their eyes at this building and they're like, um, no, we'll just meet you somewhere else. Like, why don't, you, why don't we meet at like Starbucks or something? So nobody should have any knowledge of uh, basically, you know, what I do in the privacy of this space, especially when the lights are off and I'm just lying on my bed, I'm just relaxing or trying to sleep. But over the last eight to 10 years, I have been confronted by what is now several dozen residents of this building along with staff who keep telling me that everybody can see what you do in there, you crazy bitch. That's a direct quote. And it's not just one person who said this, it's multiple creeps who've lived in unit 88 next door, starting in 2013, going all the way through now, they like to shout at me about things that I do in the privacy of this unit. Um, Elvin, the guy who just got evicted from unit 87 was shouting at me in February about how every, how he gets to see, he said he gets to see what I do in my bathroom. And just last night at like 3 AM while I was lying on my bed, picking my nose. Yes, I know it's kind of gross, but you know, you have the right to do that in the privacy of your living space. And I wasn't really picking it for very long. The violent thug directly below in 76 started making violent pounding noises out of the blue after having been completely silent for hours and hours. As soon as I start picking my nose, you know, scratching my armpits, um, you know, picking my wedgie, the thug directly below in 76 evidences knowledge of that by making repeated and violent banging noises out of the blue directly below wherever I happen to be engaging in the picking activity. And he started doing this when I was lying on my bed, just like I said, just picking my nose for like one second, maybe. Um, this person is verifiably criminally unstable. They have a criminal history. They do not ever leave their unit. They appear to be under some type of, I don't know, house arrest or something. They never leave their unit, not even for holidays. Um, they have come up to this door, uh, to my door, this door right here for absolutely no reason multiple times to confront me about things that I do or say in the privacy of this living space that they have a problem with. So the, the violent thug directly below in 76 is evidence enough that there are surveillance devices in this living space that allow thugs like that to have knowledge of what I say and do in the privacy of this living space. And this happened last night at 3 a.m. At the same time, the water from my tap suddenly started getting really smelly and stinky also at 3 a.m. when I got up from my bed to try to brush my teeth. Uh, the water is not constantly smelly and stinky and sticky. It happens to do that when I try to brush my teeth, wash my face, or use it for drinking. So I had to go down the hall to the common bathroom at 3.15 a.m. to brush my teeth with water that was not smelling like sewage and also very sticky to the touch. Like there's a residue in it and it sticks to your hands and it sticks to whatever items that you're trying to rinse out, including your toothbrush. I decided to test out my theory last night at 3.30 in the morning that there's somebody not just directly below 76, but the psychotic homicidal psychopath named Jasmine Arizari also sitting nearby and listening and eavesdropping on what I was doing in the privacy of this unit at 3.30 a.m. So what did I do? I started insulting them, right? So if people are going to sit around and eavesdrop on what you do in the privacy of your unit at 3.30 in the morning, then you have the right to say whatever horrible things you feel like 